Oh no, we are live. What's going on guys? Mike Dark Thirteen back again. Some of you may notice where I'm walking. But we'll gloss over that bit. Um, this is my video when I come back in the This is my video for the Belgium Grand Prix, which happened on Sunday. Uh, first race of the night, well, obviously we've just come back from the summer, uh, summer break. And obviously because of refereeing and whatever, I've not been able to catch a race live for a couple of weeks. When it was on, obviously we've had a four week break. But in that time, there's been a lot of driver news. So it's been confirmed that Daniel Ricciardo will be signing for Renault. Carlos Sainz will be going from Renault to McLaren. Fernando Alonso has announced he won't be racing for Formula 1 next year. And Pierre Gasly is at Red Bull from Tyre Rossi. Which all leaves quite a confusing thing. I mean, no one knows if uh, Brendan Hartley's going to keep his seat. Red Bull haven't seen or Tyre Rossi haven't been that impressed with him this year. Who's like Hulkenberg signed on for next year? But then again, his Belgian Grand Prix didn't get off to the best start. In fact, he caused a very frightening accident in which he locked up and went straight into the back of Fernando Alonso, which then proceeded to launch Alonso's car up over the Charles Leclerc. And this is, today has kind of shown that the halo was a great idea. Because if you look at the pictures of the halo, there are tyre marks around where Leclerc's head would have been. So I think in some ways this ends the argument of halos. Yes, they're not the prettiest things to look at, although most teams have actually worked very hard to make them sort of blend in quite well. But they save lives. I mean, Leclerc... The way Alonso's car went over his, quite possibly we could have had a death, another driver death. But he, thankfully he didn't. Um, so obviously that was the first corner. And your race winner was Sebastian Vettel. With Lewis Hamilton second. I mean, Lewis got jumped off the start. And Vettel just pulled away then, obviously... Pit stops came and Lewis was behind him, but then Vettel pulled away again. Now, of course, you had the Force India who, as I mentioned in my last video, I believe, went into administration, have been bought out by Lawrence Stroll, which basically means Esteban, Esteban Ocon is looking nervously over his shoulder because fundamentally it could be a case of he gets booted out of his seat for Lance Stroll. But in a wet qualifying, have a like Lewis Hamilton on pole, Vettel second, but then Rob fantastically you have both Force India, Force India's yeah, Force India's third and fourth. Obviously I finished I think it was fifth and sixth in the race. But fantastic for them. Obviously docked all their championship points on the constructors anyway because they are strictly speaking a new team entry but they instantly went back above Williams and are only a point down on Sauber so well done to them overall though there was some great overtaking from the lower down guys so like the Haas and whatever but obviously I'm glad Charles Leclerc is ok and to be honest this has ended the halo debate now It saves lives, it saves Leclerc. Yes, it was a bit of an eyesore, but I think everyone's got used to him now. You know, it looks, actually looked pretty okay. But, oh, sorry for a brief jump cut, I just had to walk across the road. Uh, that's my driver of the day. I'd actually say Barry Bottas, he started from 17th, I believe it was. But, yeah, obviously started at 17th after a grid penalty drop. For a change of engine parts. And overall, he did well to get up to fourth place. I was quite impressed. But of course, the Merc just easily just sort of blitz past cars. But then again, obviously, we've got to Monza. 
this weekend, which is obviously throw its own Grand Prix, so you would be kind of nervous no, could be hoping to pull one over, but issue being now is I think Ferrari is better in a straight line than a Mercedes and Monza is basically all straight with a few heavy braking zones. So as such I'm going to go for, in qualifying I'm going to go Vettel, P1, Raikkonen P2, Lewis 3rd, Bottas 4th, Ricardo 5th. As for the race I'm going to go Vettel P1, Raikkonen P2 and Ricardo 3rd with Hamilton 4th. But overall I'd rate the Belgian Grand Prix a solid 7 or 8 out of 10. There were some great overtaking manoeuvres. Had a bit of everything. Obviously no rain. But obviously a, a feel good story for the Force Engines as well. So anyway guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.